can hear me or not. I'm trying to get my camera figured out here. This is my first live. I don't know if I can't see any comments. Um, I have this laptop here, so let me see if I can figure it out now. I'm still new at this, guys. I'm nobody. I'm teaching myself, so let's see if... Hi, Debbie. Okay, I got the laptop here, so. Okay, I got the laptop here. Let me so. see if I can mute okay, this. I got the laptop here. Let me see if I can mute this. There we go. That way I can type it in. Um, who wins? Because I'm doing this all by myself, guys. I'm all by myself on my first life sale. I wanted to do it with somebody that has life sales all the time, but I'll, we'll just do it by myself, I guess. Hopefully it goes good. We'll see. Hi, Candace. Hi, Ida. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Linda. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Dizziness Laura. I probably butchered that name. I'm sorry. I'm going to see if I can get a few more people watching and then maybe we'll start the sale. Let's chat. What do you guys want to chat about? I went picking yesterday and I got some pretty fun things. So I'll be posting that video soon. And tomorrow me and my mom are going to get up in the morning and go to the bins. Yay. Those are my favorites. I love the bins. Let me see if I can do something else here. I'm trying to get it on my TV too so I can see the comments, but I don't know if it'll, it'll let me on there. It might confuse me having three different screens on here. Oops. I don't think I can see the live set chat, so I'm gonna turn this off the TV so I don't get confused here, guys, sorry. <laughs> so how is everybody on this Friday night? It's really quiet, surprisingly, because we got the kids back today, but Bridget's downstairs in her room and Tanner's downstairs, my oldest son, and. The two boys are in their room watching a movie, so I thought I would hop on here and do a live. I don't know if anybody else is doing a live tonight or not. I looked and I didn't see anybody, so hopefully we can get some watchers. I'm good, Nikki. I'm really good. I've been doing a lot of picking, so I have a lot of stuff to sell. Yes, I know the weather's been crazy. I heard in Texas. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for you guys. Um, my cousin Amanda actually had a whole trip planned out and paid for to South Padre Island. And she was supposed to leave two days ago. They had to cancel it. Now she's going to Florida. Yeah, I seen Jeffrey's in Florida too. Everybody's going to Florida. Everybody is. I wish I was in Florida. I'm going to I'm going to do the live sale tonight. I'm I'm going to start here in a little bit and I got a pile of stuff. I showed a picture a little bit ago on here of um some of the stuff that I'm going to sell, so Yes, she is flying into Orlando and then they're going to Cocoa Beach. I think they got a, a house. They rented a house um, 
because there's 11 of them going, I think, or there'll be Amanda, Randy, and the two girls, and then her mom and dad, and um, her aunt. So they should have fun time. I'm jealous. I'm ready. Me, last year, me and Luke had a whole um, California, my dream trip planned out. It was so sad I had to cancel it, but we had everything planned out. We were going to fly into San Francisco and stay in San Francisco for two days. And then we were going to rent a car and drive to LA and stay in LA for three days. We had rented a condo or, um, not a condo, uh, balcony, like a really nice hotel suite. That was a thousand dollars for three nights, but it was my dream trip and I really wanted to do it. It's very expensive. I know, but it was in Santa Monica beach and it, it would have been so much fun. And then we were going to drive and stay in, drive to Vegas and then drive and see the Grand Canyon and then stay in the TP, um, the TP motels that you've seen in the movie vacation. Um, and I really wish that we could have done that trip, but I had we had to cancel it because of you guys know what happened. But we ended up going to Florida and staying with my friend in a condo um, a couple months later. But it wasn't no dream trip because I was going to pick. Luke was going to let me stop at thrift stores on the way home and pick. It would have been so much fun. I know it. It's a bummer. I had to cancel it. But maybe this year. We're still trying to decide where we want to go this year, so... Okay, let's see. Hopefully I've said hi to everybody. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Candace. Okay, guys, so what do you think? Should we get started? Should I sell some things, maybe? This is my first one. I don't know how it's going to go, but we will see. Hi, Donna. Um, hopefully I can see everybody and it's not lagging and... You guys can help me out a little bit. All right. What should we do first? How about... Hi, Annette. How about this pair of kitties? Should we do these little kitties? They're so cute. They're not salt and pepper shakers, guys. They're just little figurines. They're so cute. They have stickers made in Korea on the bottom there's no chips or cracks look how sweet their little faces are i just think they're adorable now i don't have anybody doing like i don't have i don't know what the wrench means you guys um i guess i'll be the one typing in the winner um if anybody wants these, I guess. I don't really know. but They're so cute. And I, I have my tape measure, so I will let you know how big they are. They are about two and a half inches. So they're cute. They're cute little guys. And no, his tail is still intact. They're just darling little things. Okay, and these will be... These will be um, $9 for the set, for the little pair, and they will be number four. So $9 for the pair of kitties. They're so cute. I just think they're adorable. Little baby Siamese kitties. Nine dollars, number four. And I think that goes to Donna. Congratulations, Donna. Give me a minute so I can write that down. Like I said, I'm doing this by myself, guys, so sorry, be patient. Maybe when I get a little more familiar. 
and Donna, send me a message, um, junk to be loved at gmail.com and with your information so I can send you a PayPal invoice. So congratulations, Donna. I don't know how. I don't know how to do it, you guys. Hmm. Oops. I'm sorry, you guys. There. Oh, I'm shipping from Iowa. I'm in Iowa, and it's... It's very cold here. Actually, we're going, it's starting to warm up. Tomorrow, I think it's going to be in the 30s. And then Monday, it's going to be in the 40s. Yay. So that is exciting. Okay. Put those aside. All right. Now, let's do... this little bird and he is a mexican pottery bird he is signed on the bottom mexico he's cute he doesn't have any chips or cracks at all either his little face is adorable and he is signed like i said so no chips or cracks i always try to buy things that don't have any, any chips or cracks he does have well, it looks like a tiny little bit of paint wear right there, but that's about it. He's cute. And he is about three inches tall. So he's cute. Cute little bluebird Mexican pottery. So he will be... Um, he will be, I should have had all this written down. I want to, my mom's like, you need to write it down. That's okay. He will be $8 and he's going to be number 15. $8, number 15 for the little Mexican bird. And Annette got it. Congratulations, Annette. Let me write that down. And send me, make sure you guys send me your um, information. And when you send me an email, don't forget to put your YouTube, your handle, your name, um, so I know who you are. Okay. All right. So far, so good, I guess. The comments are coming in fast, but hi, everybody. Hi. Okay. Let's do this head vase. Now, I haven't never seen one like this. I, somebody obviously made it, it was a project because it's HM is what it says on the bottom. But she's cute and unique, right? I thought she was adorable. And she doesn't have any chips or cracks at all. None. Isn't she pretty? 
I really like her. Now she's going to be $14 and she will be number two. $14 number two. I really love her. I've never seen one like that before. All right, this one goes to Debbie. Congrats, Debbie. Um, I would prefer you to pre-register. But if you don't, I mean, and you don't have to unless you buy something. Um, so it's up to you. And you have, I'm giving everybody three days, three business days to pay, so... Hmm, what would you put in the back of that? In the back of the head vase? Is that what you're talking about? I think it would be cute for a succulent. A little succulent in there. Okay. The link is... It's not in the description in this the live because I couldn't figure out how to do a description, but it's in my other videos if you need the link. Otherwise, it's just junk to be loved at gmail.com. It's just my name and then at gmail.com. So, oh yeah, makeup brushes. That would be very, very cute in it. That'd be very cute. Okay. No, I didn't. I need to write this down. Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys, it's taking me so long. I'm so glad that my son let me use his laptop, though, because my laptop is extremely slow. So I don't think it would have worked. Okay. Let's do... How about we do this fish dish? Isn't this so cool? It's like a little koi fish. I would say maybe, is that what you guys think it is? A koi fish maybe? I don't know, I love it. I love it and on the bottom it does say Holland Mold. I believe that's what it says. Yep, Holland Mold. I have my contacts in so it's kind of hard for me to see things. But I love it, it's a cute little fish dish with a shell. It's like a little trinket dish. It don't say a year on it, but I really like it. I think it's cute. Okay, this guy is going to be, let me get my numbers out here. He's gonna be $9 and he's gonna be number 18. Nine dollars, number 18, for the fish dish. And it goes to Sandra. Congratulations, Sandra. Remember, just send me an email with your information. Write it 
down. All right, guys. Hello. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's do... Let's do this Puss in Boots book. I love this book. I think it's so cute. It does have a little bit of wear, you guys can see. I mean, it's not bad at all. I just think it's so cute. It's so cute, and it's aircraft. It was only 29 cents. That's funny. And it does have like a old sticker, like an old price tag it's starting to come off there, but I'm not going to take it off. And this is, oh crap, I forgot to look up the, I forgot to look up the date, but you guys can Google it. I can't remember what the, I, remember, I didn't write it down. I did Google it once, but. I mean, it's so cute. Puss in Boots. I just think it's cute, guys. Oh, crap. Crap, I just got a notification that my phone's gonna die. I told you guys I was not prepared at all. I might have to take a little bit of a break for like a half an hour and go charge my phone. That's so unprofessional, I know. But... What can you do? It's Friday night, so hopefully you guys will be up all night and not having any plans. Most of the whole United States right now is freezing, so I don't know. We'll do this one real quick, and then I'll go charge my phone. Is that okay? I, I can't. I'm not able to plug it in because my charger's not long enough. I'm in my living room, and I'm so sorry, guys, but just give me a half an hour. We'll do this one real quick, though. Okay, this cute Puss in Boots book is going to be $9 because it's in such good shape and I just love it. Look at the graphics. That is adorable. Okay, it's going to be $9 and it's going to be... Number 13. Number 13, $9 for the cute Puss in Boots book. It's adorable. And if all you get is a book or paper or anything like that, um, I will ship it media mail so it's cheaper for you guys. $9, number 13. I think it's adorable. I like the windmill. Look how scared he looks. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. Look at the end. Aww. So cute. Okay. I don't, I don't know if anybody wanted that one or not, but I am going to take a little bit of a break and charge my phone. Um, my, I have a fast charger, so it will charge fast, and then I will be back. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's unprofessional, like I said, but hopefully you stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> 